Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Amber from Unique Upcycles and in today's video I will be transforming this mid-century modern low boy dresser. Uh, so if you want to see how I do that from start to finish, go ahead and stick around. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can get notified of future videos and let's go ahead and get started. This is the piece that I'll be working on today. I believe it's uh, from the 1970s. It is a mid-century modern low boy dresser. It is in decent condition and I will be cleaning up that hardware so I can reuse it. First I'll start by removing all the drawers and all the hardware from the piece. I use a pre-mixed TSP substitute in a spray bottle and a sponge to go ahead and clean. I'll clean the entire piece inside and out, including all the drawers. I'm then going to go ahead and using some wood filler, I'll fill in any scratches or gouges that need to be repaired. After that wood filler dries, I will sand it smooth with a 120 and a 220 sanding sponge. This is a high gloss finish, so I'm going to go ahead and do a scuff stand using a sanding sponge over the entire piece so that it will give the paint something to grip onto. I'm going to prime the entire piece with this Bin uh, 123 primer. It is shellac based and the rule of thumb with shellac is that shellac sticks to everything and everything sticks to shellac since it is a glossy surface. I just want to be sure that the paint is going to adhere to the entire piece. I'm just applying this with a cheap chip brush. You can get these on Amazon or any hardware store and they did a total of two coats of this primer over the entire piece to ensure everything was covered. I'm going to be using the color Crinoline by Country Chic for this. I'm applying it with my Zebra Wedge brush. It gives um, a smoother finish since it is a synthetic brush and it being a mid-century modern piece, I do want it to be a little bit smoother. I did a total of three coats over the entire piece. I somehow lost the footage, but after I was finished painting all three coats, I did do a light sanding with a very fine grit sanding sponge over the entire piece to make sure it was smooth prior to applying my top coat. Using my Zebra Palm Pro brush, I am applying two coats of General Finishes Flat Out Flat Top Coat while waiting two hours between each application on the entire piece of the frame and the drawer fronts. I switched over to a detail brush to apply the top coat into these grooves just to ensure that it gets covered. After those two coats had dried, I decided to flip the dresser over and I repeated the same process of the primer, two coats and the three coats of paint and two coats of top coat on all four legs. This is what the hardware looked like after I removed it. I was able to clean it with some Brasso and using some Goof Off, I removed all of that white paint that they had painted on there for the details. Even after cleaning it, it was still pretty tarnished, so I'm taking some Rub and Buff in the color Gold Leaf and applying it with a Q-tip over all of the hardware. I did two coats of this and I also did it on the little gold ends of the legs so that everything matched. Last step was to add this geometric uh, peel and stick contact paper. The gold and white matched the outside of the dresser and it just really finished it off with a little more detail. And here is the completed look with all the hardware put back on. 
harder Holding on and letting go I don't know if we ought to be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more furniture flips in the future. And once again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.